Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I was learning about memory and we're upgrading my computer and I was told that this was before you came along. But I had to get a video card, right? Because I'm already upgrading. So if you upgrade one part, usually you have to upgrade the next part, which is also the video. Right. And whoever I was on the phone with, I think it was HP, they obviously knew I didn't know what the heck I was looking for, right? And, and the guy told me to get, he said, okay, I'm not supposed to say this, but just get the Radeon card. And he's telling me. So then the next guy, when I, I went and got it, came right. back, and I was trying to install my own memory. This is scary that memory? I was doing this. Yes. Well, memory, memory it's upgrades. It's not that big it's of a not, deal. It's but, really not hard. But they were keep telling me I had to add more things. As as I started doing the memory, then they're like, well, you need to do this, too, because the, the memory's not going to run so good if you don't do this. this <laughs> not. So the second guy I was on the phone with, he's like, he did not tell you to buy Radeon, did he? And they were just so, like, the <laughs> opposite views of the video card. The yep. video card was such a big deal. It's a holy work. So, AMD, Intel, NVIDIA, ATI, Windows, Mac. It's all holy But they're work. just, like, so, yeah. like, loving their own and hating the other. Yeah. And there's absolutely, like, no but in you between. Know, that flip-flops. There was a time that I loved NVIDIA because it had the best driver support, fastest video card out there, and then ATI got their act together. And as far as Windows is concerned, ATI, and specifically on Windows Vista, ATI is far more stable, has far more mature drivers than NVIDIA does. Uh, okay, that doesn't, I, what does that mean, mature drivers? It works better. Because I'm seeing Windows old people in front of the car. Windows old works, people in front of the car. Windows works better, but on Linux, <laughs> NVIDIA actually works better than ATI in Linux. So it's it, it's operating system, it's driver, it's software support. Sometimes hardware is just part of the thing. Now this, this discussion, this story comes out uh, of a question that Horrific One asked uh, a couple weeks ago about finding a low budget video card. And so we started talking about you know what a video card is. Basically helps you render video on the screen. And video cards are actually very important beyond gaming. Gaming or gamers care more about video cards because the better video card, the faster it runs, the uh, higher frame rates you can get in video games, the more you can do. Uh, but now that Vista has shipped, there's a lot more 3D acceleration happening in regular software that's not games that a fast video card or a good video card is going to be able to support that lower end video cards won't. So, like I've got two, two, mon two 30 inch monitors plugged into one video card right now. It's because that video card supports something called Dual Link DVI, which basically means it's powerful enough to run monitors Dual this too. big. This re it's, it's not just the size of the monitors, it's the resolution of the monitors. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pixels that the, the computer has to be able to manage, and a higher end video card is going to be able to take advantage of that. So I had to make sure that before I had these monitors, or before I got these monitors, that the video card or video cards would be able to support it. So, so I have a question. Sure. So if, the, if you upgrade your video card and you get this like awesome video card, because there's so much more information being transferred, do you have to also have an equally fast processor, or do you have to upgrade the processor when you upgrade the video card? Because doesn't it have to move that information? Yeah, well, the, the, the beauty of the video card is that it offloads a lot of that working, it offloads a lot of the, how am I gonna say this? I'm trying, I'm trying to put this into, into something that you're gonna understand. So yeah. the CPU, CPU does a lot of computing. It does the processing, it, it figures everything out. Having a video card, having this extra hardware takes a lot of the load off the CPU and puts it onto the video card. So in theory, you could upgrade your video card without necessarily having to upgrade your CPU at the same time. Now that being said, you know, of course the faster the CPU goes, the faster your system is going to be, the more responsive it's going to be. You're going to be bottlenecked by something. And a bottleneck is, is a piece or a component in your system that's the slowest that thing. Everything. So now it's getting to the point where hard drives are typically the bottleneck because it's physical media. It's something that's writing. Uh, it's something that's moving around. It's, all your data sits on it. It's got to be pulled from it. So for years, memory may have been a bottleneck, CPU may have been a bottleneck, video may have been a bottleneck, sound may have been a bottleneck. Now it comes down to really any type of movable parts is typically the bottleneck of your system. So if you've got, if you've got a processor, honestly, if you've got something that's a Pentium 4 or above, the video card is going to be able to take advantage of a faster CPU, but you don't necessarily have to upgrade your CPU at the same time you upgrade your video card. Now the question was driven towards a budget video card, and the way I always approach video cards is get whatever you can afford to get. And that's, that's always going to be the same thing for any part of your computer. Get what you can afford to get. So if Even you if you're going to have to upgrade it in six months because you said it changes again? Gamers are the only 
real computer users who care about upgrading their video card every six months. Oh, okay. The average person, when they buy the computer, the video card that comes in it, they're probably going to be just Fine. happy. And that being said, my dad was playing a lot of Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and he wasn't getting very fast. It, the video wasn't, the graphics were slow. And it turns out that his computer had a video card that was built into the, the computer itself, or on the motherboard. And so what we did was we went out and got a newer video card. didn't cost too much, but $100 or whatever. But that was a better experience for him and what he was trying to get out of it and just playing a faster, a better game for a uh, flight, uh, flight simulator. Now, how do you decide if you go N NVIDIA or ATI or even Intel for the video card? That's what the web is good for because you can search for benchmarks, specifically benchmarks against the thing that you're trying to use. So if you're, trying, if you're doing a lot of AutoCAD work, if you're doing a lot of 3D rendering, certain video cards are going to work better than others. And if you're doing a lot of gaming, certain video cards are going to perform better than others. But then there's also the component of software. So software is a big deal. Like I said, NVIDIA isn't working very well on Windows Vista at all, whereas ATI is apparently working with flying colors.